Billy Donovan has spoke out over the rumors of Alex Caruso being traded to the Golden State Warriors. He seems to think his value is a little different than some of us may have thought. We're going to break down all of that in this episode of Bulls Digest. I'm your host, Joey Mercer, and before we get into it there today, I just want to say that about 80% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and every single time we upload, you'll be able to stay up to date with our takes on your Chicago Bulls right there to whatever device you watch us on. So without further ado, let's get into the first topic there today, and that is overvaluing Caruso. So Alex Caruso is one of the better defensive players in the league, dare I say the best defensive guard in the entire NBA. If you look at the advanced metrics, he's up there with all the bigs. And if you know much about defensive advanced metrics, you know that it's usually ruled by centers in this league because there's so much around the rim, they get so many blocks, they really stop a lot of buckets, and that really favors them. Caruso is right up there. He's ahead of the pack for the rest of the guards by a significant margin. But when we look at his offensive game, he's a really good catch-and-shoot guy, but he can't create for himself as much, so I wouldn't say that he'd be one of the top guys in the league value-wise, but he is a very, very significant role player and one of the most valued role players in my opinion. Now, when we look at this article, it was Billy Donovan backs Bulls' firm trade stand for Alex Caruso. You need to get a haul from him. Alex remains in Chicago amid warm trade interest from teams. Now, we heard the Lakers wanted a reunion with Alex Caruso. We heard the Warriors wanted Alex Caruso for Moses Moody and maybe some other pieces or picks along the line. We've heard a few different teams that could use his services if they are contending, and that's very accurate. We didn't hear the Boston Celtics because they have a similar player in Drew Holiday, who is a better offensive player, of course. But Caruso fits seamlessly on most teams in the league. Unless they need a shot creator, of course, and that's where some issues come about. Caruso, though, I think his value was overvalued by the team, and now by Billy Donovan that we're going to get into, and that's really where things went astray, you know? It, it feels like a, a trade could have happened, and it feels like our overvaluing caused the offers to get worse and worse as the day went on on trade deadline. Next thing we saw on this was despite the clamor to finally push the reset button and go for a needed change, the Chicago Bulls didn't move any needle and opted to stand pat on making a swing ahead of Thursday's trade deadline. The Bulls have maintained, maintained sorry, their conviction to continue competing regardless of what the outside noise is suggesting. Their most notable trade candidate was Alex Caruso, who absorbed an overwhelming trade regard, but the ball club has firmly tightened their grasp and commitment to him, which head coach Billy Donovan believes is simply justifiable. When we go and look at what Billy Donovan had to say, it'll start by saying the reasonable firm stand that they're breaking down here on this article on Sports Illustrated. It says around the Chicago camp, all eyes were certainly focused on AC's future with the Bulls. Alex stood up as the league's most targeted trade piece, and while the team tagged a costly high uh, asking price for him, many teams were still aggressive in their pursuit of the savvy veteran. Despite the considerable trade factors that could have been capitalized for Alex, the Bulls didn't trade him away this Thursday. Now, I do think that it really was to depend on what trades we got back. I know that the Bulls wanted to get Kaminga for him. I think Kaminga is a little bit more valuable than Caruso, so that makes a lot of sense. But I don't know what the other trades were, and that's where we're really kind of left uh, out in the dark as Bulls fans and, and me, Bulls Media, posting to you to know exactly what trades were turned down and where the value exactly is. They talk about him being the most sought-after trade asset, and I'm not really sure that was the accurate uh, statement either, which kind of leaves me confused as to where to stand on Caruso. I think he's a very good player, one of the best role players in the league, but I don't think he's a star by any means. Next thing we saw was the quote from Billy Donovan saying, I think Alex Crusoe is one of the most valuable players in the NBA. I think you need to get a haul for him. Those players like DeMar DeRozan, like Alex Crusoe, just don't grow on trees. And nobody's saying they grow on trees. I certainly wasn't saying they grow on trees. Very talented players. DeRozan, obviously a more offensive-minded player, very good at creating his own shot. And those are the things that Alex Crusoe lacks. Two of those players put together and you have the perfect player. However, when we look at it, I don't think Caruso's value is as good as DeRozan's. DeRozan is older at age 34, 35 this season, but I think if you're looking for a guy to fit onto a team, DeRozan definitely still has some more value than Caruso. Don't get me wrong. The contract looks better on Caruso, 
But DeRozan's contract is expiring this summer, so that really is a null figure. There isn't a contract in mind, so another team could get him for whatever value if he sees that it's better for him to go to that team maybe for a championship, maybe a hometown discount if he's to go to L.A. somewhere. You never know what he's going to take for different salaries. It's completely up to DeMar and his agent, of course. Next thing we saw on this was not for sale. Amid the sizzling interest coming from the marketplace, the Bulls have deeply planted their unwavering regard and commitment for Caruso. And from the inquiries made by the teams, they placed a mind-blowing demand as well that has been too steep to reach. Now, what might they be, you may ask? Well, it says here, The stiff stance of the Bulls in their trade hesitancy around Caruso has been purely motivated by their intentions to continue their fight this season. With his hustle, defense, and reliable leadership, he can truly help Alex go beyond. And these intangibles that he brings to the table aren't just truly easy to let go of. Now, Listen, we talked pretty heavily yesterday when we re recapped the trade deadline story, and we talked about AK. I he really took it on the chin from me, so to speak. I talked pretty badly about how AK's decisions have been. I thought when AK and Mark Eversley first got here with the Bulls, they were doing a phenomenal job putting this team together back in 2021. The fact that they haven't made many moves since has really been an issue for me. I thought Torrey Craig and Javon Carter were going to be great acquisitions. Craig's been injured a lot of the year. And then we look at uh, Javon Carter and he just hasn't really fit with this team, although it is his hometown squad. I think they're expecting to get a little bit more out of him, exactly what they saw with the Bucks. But then when you ask Bucks fans, they say that he can come in and out of games and kind of flows around with that. So that's not something that you want to hear as a Bulls fan now with Javon Carter on the team and not performing that well consistently, that's for sure. But now when we look at how AK really didn't want to move things, but it seemed like the front office did want to rebuild to happen, it kind of makes me think that maybe Billy Donovan and AK were kind of in this together. Maybe it had to do something with Alex Caruso's value. Maybe they thought it was way higher than the front office thought, and maybe trades didn't happen because they couldn't come on an agreement. Maybe the front office thought that Caruso's value was, you know, somewhere towards the middle, and maybe the high end was... Uh, between Billy Donovan and Arturis Karnasovas. Now, that is what I think. There's no reports on that. I don't know. It just seems to be kind of fishy to think that Billy Donovan and AK have come out talking about Caruso and what they wanted in trades. That seems to be way higher than what other people are saying. And it seemed like a rebuild was going to go down through the front office end of things, but then AK really just didn't want anything to happen, didn't want to move the needle. It's just happy of cashing paychecks from the Chicago Bulls at this point, and they really need to make some crazy changes in this offseason. And if they don't, I think this team really is doomed. We have some young players that are coming up in the ranks, but I don't think any of those guys are going to be stars or superstars. Julian Phillips seems like he might be a solid rotation piece, but and Dale and Terry the same. Maybe a little bit better than Julian Phillips, it's hard to say right now. He's also down with an injury, which isn't helping us. Kobe White's the guy that seems to be, have star potential on this team, but who's going to be there to help him in the future? I don't see Patrick Williams taking another step, and I don't see anybody else on the team like Desumu taking another step either. I think they're they're almost finished projects to where they are, and that's not exactly what you want to hear as a Bulls uh, fan, for sure. But hopefully they can make some moves in the offseason, so that they can get the help for these young guys. Try, try to build around them a little bit more, move on from DeRozan, maybe still keep some of the team together. But I really want to see Levine and DeRozan gone in this offseason, unless, of course, you can get DeRozan on a very good deal. I want to see Levine move for sure. I think this team is capable of so much more without him. I understand that he is a star player and an all-star in this league, but I really think it's time to move on, go for a different look, and try to make another push, maybe without him on the team, and see how things go. This has been your host, Joey Mercer. Hope you enjoyed the video there today. Make sure if you did to go down below, hit that like button, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Signing off.